Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. In today's video, I am going to show you how to make this beautiful tarot card deck display with moon phases. And we're going to use these beautiful silicone molds for Halloween. And they're all from BB Craft. So, let's get started. So I just want to thank BB Craft for sponsoring this video and of course their website is in the description below as well as the link to their YouTube program and I have a code webpaint5 where you can save $5 off a $40 purchase and of course the links to this gorgeous mold right here and of course this whole set of molds will be in the description as well so this is some of the products I am using in this project um, the tea expert epoxy resin these are some of the things I've picked out and I'm sorry guys if I sound weird I'm a little sick I have a cold but here are some of the colors some micas beautiful purple glitters I have this galactic glitter I have some black pigment I have some liquid pigments I may not use all of it I may switch it up I also have some glass shards and now so we are going to mix up this epoxy resin and of course I'm gonna add some colors and micas and glitters and we are gonna get started pouring in these beautiful silicone molds and guys don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell alright so we have our silicone mold and I have this gorgeous glitter it's like this dual chrome and I have some glass shards and please wear gloves when you use anything like that and I'm just going to basically paint in this gorgeous like purple pink and silver glitter and I believe I got this glitter mint like couple years ago from dryer days so I'm just stippling in all the glitter and I think I poured a little too much in there but you know what you can never have too much glitter I kind of love it and hate it so as I am doing this I just want to um, talk about BB Crafts YouTube program a little bit more so if you have a YouTube channel and you have a hundred subscribers or more you can apply to the YouTube um, program and you can get up to $40 of uh, product a month and you just have to make three videos one unboxing and either you can make two tutorials or two project shares so the link is in the description of course and I am sorry again um, I am sick <laughs> so I'm, I may cough a little bit but anyway and my nose is stuffed but anyway I'm just going to continue painting in this gorgeous glitter and now we're going to add the glass shards now I poured a little too much in that first one but the glass shards are gorgeous okay um, if you get your hands on this I got these from primal flow uh, there it's like a fluid art um, online store they're family uh, family owned and these really now I don't know if they still sell them I hope they do because I wanted to get some more okay so we are going to start putting in some embellishments. I'm going to put a little glass in these guys because the glass really makes things sparkle. Look how, look how the light reflects off the glass. And they're very fine pieces of glass, but please always wear gloves. Now, you can use um, glitters and stuff, but the glass kind of gives it an extra shine to it. So now I'm going to take this gorgeous... Um, beautiful purple glitter again from Primal Flow. Primal Flow is definitely one of my favorite uh, f the like pre-mixed fluid art uh, fluid paints they sell. I'm gonna misspeak a lot guys today I'm sick um, but they sell um, pre-mixed fluid paint and glitters and resin products 
So now I'm taking a little galactic glitter in the star and in the little moon piece. Now these are kind of small, but um, small molds, but they're, they'll be cute for keychains or earrings. And I did buy some jewelry making stuff, so that's great because I, well, you'll see at the end of this, I'll, I'll show you what I made with them. So I'm going to take a little bit of this carbon black pigment and put it right in there. And I'm also using some pigments from Tea Expert as well. So Tea Expert and uh, Primal Flow. And I'm just putting a little glitter in there some galactic glitter in my little bats and they're really gonna shine and sparkle and be very glittery I love that the carbon black is great it's really like true black and here's that galactic glitter just stippling that in and this is a great fun and easy way sorry guys just hit the camera this is a fun and easy way to add color to your molds actually and this is one of my favorite ways so I'm taking some of this I think this is called peach red it's like a very bright red into these flying hearts with wings these hearts with wings very cute and there's uh, three sizes a larger one a medium and a small I'm just knocking off a little extra there and right into the bag and you just paint it in. You could add whatever you want. I love adding micas and glitters and glass and all kinds of stuff. I have tons of embellishments uh, for resin. And you can actually get some of these glitters from the Dollar Tree. You don't have to spend a lot of money. They sell tons of glitters there. And I'm just adding... I love that galactic glitter. It has so many colors in it. It's like black and purple and pink. It's just a beautiful glitter. Just brushing that in. Now that one little mold that looks like a little branch, it is quite small to kind of make anything with, but I'm gonna use it anyway. I think it's adorable, but it's quite small to even put a jump ring in. So, and now we're going to do our weird skeleton skull. And we're going to put a little glass in him, make him sparkle. And we're going to put more galactic glitter. I love this galactic glitter. So I'm just going to brush that in real quick. And get it in all the grooves of the mold. Alright, so now it is time to mix up the epoxy resin. Okay, so I mixed up the resin in this cup here. It is a one-to-one -one, um, ratio resin. And what I did was I feathered out some beautiful purple mica from the center. I really wanted to accentu accentuate the center design of this beautiful mold. So just pouring slowly over the center and let it just naturally pour and spread over the whole mold. And as I could see by my cup emptying out really, really quickly, I am definitely going to have to mix up more resin. Um, this is going to take quite a bit of resin, but that's cool because I really, really love this mold. So now we are going to pop any bubbles. There really aren't many uh, air bubbles here, but I just want to spread the resin, heat it up a little bit, and, you know, pop any potential air bubbles. And that's it, so I am going to go off and mix more resin and come right back. Okay, so I mix some more up. And I'm just going to pour that on the rest of the mold, get all the little spots there. 
yeah, so this almost used, I would say, a good oof, half a bottle to three quarters of a bottle of resin. Uh, but it is a smaller bottle. But still, it does take a, quite a bit of resin. So I'm just pouring a little bit more on the center there. That should be enough. And now I'm going to take my heat tool one more time and pop any bubbles that there are in here, heat it up. And as you can already see that glass and glitter, it is already sparkling inside the mold. I'm really, really excited for this mold. I just think it's gorgeous and I cannot wait for it to cure. So I can unmold it for you guys. So I'm gonna give it 24 hours and I will be back. Okay guys, so here I went off on my own and I poured the rest of the resin. This is a huge mess. Resin is everywhere. So I used some white pigment, black pigment for the hearts and the bats and the red for the skull and the haunted house. I had some extra, did an extra mold. So I'm gonna leave this for 24 hours and I will be back. All right guys, so here is the big reveal for the smaller molds. There they are in all their glory. I think they are so adorable. So I also went and I made more and I used some UV resin. And I made about 24 because it's 12 molds all together. So here I made these really adorable Halloween keychains. I'm really, really happy with the way they came out. That little moon there broke on the tip when I tried to make a um, keychain. But that's okay. I'm going to keep her anyway got the hearts and the skull the haunted house I had all these keychains so I decided to make some I really love the way they came out I think they were adorable and they're gonna be perfect for the pop-up shop I'm gonna be part of on October 24th so if you are in the New York area I'm gonna put the link to their Instagram right here Okay, I'm going to put it in the description below. If you are in the New York area in Queens, Jackson Heights is going to be a really cool pop-up shop October 24th. So if you are around, please come. And know now I am going to show you the beautiful tarot deck display. Okay, guys, so here is... I unmolded demolded whatever the big guy here and here are these beautiful little keychains again i had all those keychains laying around i said you know what let me make some for this pop-up shop all right so here's how she came out so there's my witch's tarot my moonology which is perfect for this mold so i'm just gonna put a white piece of paper underneath so you could see it a little better it's kind of hard to see on camera but I'm trying my best so you could see it. Let's see, clear. I was going to put a coat of black, but there really wasn't room in the mold. But I think it just came out gorgeous. You could see all the glitters. And it actually looks better on a black um, piece of paper. So you could really see it pop. So there's all that glitter and the glass and the glitter around the whole mold. And that beautiful purple mica in the center. I really really love this mold it does take a lot of resin but it just it was worth every bit of it uh, it really was so now I have a beautiful space where I could keep my uh, tarot cards and I love this so you know I just want to thank you guys for watching today I hope you enjoyed and I hope you enjoyed uh, the little ghosty goose as well so cute so that's it guys thank you so much to bb craft for sponsoring the video now remember all the links to the both products will be in the description below the two molds as well as all the other links okay so thanks for watching guys i really appreciate it and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos and i will see you in the next one bye